This is part 5 of JavaScript tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss tools required to learn JavaScript, websites that help write and test JavaScript, and the advantage of using Visual Studio to learn JavaScript. So what are the tools required to learn JavaScript? All we actually need is a text editor like Notepad and a browser of your choice. You can use any browser you want, Chrome, Internet Explorer, Firefox, Safari, etc. Here we've got some HTML and JavaScript. Notice within the body section we've got H1 element and following that we have script element. All JavaScript must be present inside the script element. And notice along with the script element we're also using the type attribute. Basically this type attribute is going to tell that the script is JavaScript. If the type attribute is absent, then by default, the script will be treated as JavaScript. And here, we've got one line of JavaScript code. Basically, we're using the alert function in JavaScript. We will discuss functions in detail in a later video session. All this alert function will do is display that message, welcome to JavaScript tutorial, in an alert box at runtime. And all strings must be present inside quotes. Notice this string welcome to JavaScript tutorial is present in quotes. And then notice this statement is terminated with a semicolon. It's not mandatory for a JavaScript statement to terminate with semicolon, but it's a good practice to avoid ambiguity. I already have this HTML and JavaScript copied in the clipboard. So let's open Notepad and then paste that there. Let's save this notepad. So click File, Save, and let's give it this name, Test. And we have to save it either with .htm or .html. And click Save. Let's navigate to the folder where we saved it. So we saved it to this Files folder. And look at the icon that is associated with this file. It's Google Chrome browser icon. The default browser on my machine is Google Chrome. And since this is a web page, look at this, it is automatically associated with Google Chrome. Now, when I double click on this one, it is going to be opened with Google Chrome browser. And then look at this, that H1 JavaScript training, that's displayed using the H1 tag. And then look at the alert, welcome to JavaScript tutorial. Now, uh, if you want to change something, for example, hello, welcome to JavaScript tutorial, make your changes in the notepad, save it, and then come back to the browser, and then reload it. Look at this, hello, welcome to JavaScript tutorial. So in reality, all you need um, you know, to learn JavaScript is text editor like notepad and any browser of your choice. Now, Let's look at the websites that can help write and test JavaScript. So this jsbin.com is one of the useful websites I have found to write and test JavaScript. So if we navigate to jsbin.com, so basically notice that at the moment it is showing the HTML and you know whatever is the output of, HT of this HTML is shown on the right hand side. Now we want to write JavaScript code. So notice this menu item here, JavaScript. Click on that. It will open up another window, and you can start writing your JavaScript. For example, let's say I want to display an alert box. I simply type alert. And then let's say we want to display the string hello. So you type your JavaScript in this window. And then on the right, you have this button run with JS. So click on that, and notice that the JavaScript is executed and displayed. And let's say, for example, we want to have a text box you know, in the HTML. So let's use an input element, type equals text. And let's say the value within this text box is going to be Prajim Tech. And let's give this text box an ID. Let's call it my text box. So what we want to do is we want to write some JavaScript code here, which is going to retrieve that text from that text box, which is present in the HTML, and then display that within an alert box. So we are still going to use the alert function, but I want to use uh, you know, document object. Look at this. You type it partially, and then when you press tab key, look at this it automatically completes as well. So this website also provides autocomplete feature. And then press dot. 
we want to use get element by ID function. So I type it partially and then when I type the tab key, look at that, it shows all the functions that start with that name. And we want to use get element by ID function. And then to this function, we want to pass the ID of our text box, which is my text box. And we want to retrieve the value out of the text box, so let's use value property. And look at this, when we click this button, run with JS, look at that, whatever is displayed in this text box is now being displayed using this alert box. So a very useful website to write and test your JavaScript. So what's the advantage of using Visual Studio to learn JavaScript over Notepad? The main advantage is Visual Studio provide IntelliSense and autocomplete features, which can reduce typos and increase developer productivity. It also provides rich debugging support. That's why Visual Studio is a much better tool to learn JavaScript. Thank you for listening and have a great day.